fight, the fight You did it in a fight last time Motherfucker, you're addicted to your life You gotta fight Heavyweight division collision You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy has insanely fast kicking speed and ridiculous leg dexterity. If you are close enough for him to kick you, you've got a real problem on your hands. With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division! Introduce the best! Fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting at a little muscle, Cypress El Toro. And now he sees his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Ready, I'm ready? very excited. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And how about the buzz in this arena and just the sheer volume from these fans as Conor McGregor makes his return here tonight. Now, how will he approach the early portions of this fight? That is the big question. We know he's had some quick finishes in his UFC career, but a lot of people think he'll want to feel this thing out and get his feet under him early. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Joe, what are you looking for out of him here in the early going? One thing to look out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. And he connects there. That one hurt. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big power shot there. Oh, he's timing his shots nicely now. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, he walked into his opponent's range. Oh, looked like it did start him a little bit. He's trying to hang on. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? A big oh. shot to the head. Oh, he tagged him with the left. Big kick to the body land. Oh, big left hook there. What a wild exchange. Oh, beautiful hook. Caught that one on the forearm. How about that chin? So three minutes off the clock in our first round. And he continues to work on the inside of that big left. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. That's a good combination. Seconds remain in the round. Look at that, right to the temple. Oh! And there he swung with the haymaker. There's a nice inside leg kick. Slips the punch. Oh, nice kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Lands a big left counter. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh! Whoa! He's in big, big, big trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Spinning breakfast. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the straight effort. What a round. Let's take a look at it again here. Here we see it from a different angle. And here we see that again. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. This round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna want to move and avoid taking damage early. <laughs> nice punch there by McGregor. Working the inside of that lead leg. Right on the button. McGregor gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Connor. Wow, what a powerful leg kick that was. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. That one appeared to stun This could be it right here. Oh! Oh! What a leg kick! Hurt him with the right hand. hand. Shot there, lands flush. And 
from here transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. That knee might have landed there. Back to over under. McGregor's got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Muay Thai plump. And there comes the separation now. Well, he's, oh! oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! Man! Head kick! Oh, man, they are winging oh! at each other. This could be it. Big shots! Big body shot! shot. Body. Oh! 20 seconds left to go in round two. Seconds remain in round two. Oh, he brought that off on the and the horn sounds on round two. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. There's a powerful kick to the body. Incredible striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. Third round underway. That last round was an all-out draw. If they continue like that in this round, oh, 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 oh. that's a strong hammer. Do you He's out. That? It's over. And that is a great sign of an intelligent fighter. Composure. Knew he hurt him. And he's taking his time. Well, that's the way they used to ground and pound fighters back in the day, literally trying to pound your opponent's head through the canvas. Elbows and strikes and hammer fists one after the next, an offensive explosion on the ground that gets him the knockout win here tonight. Let's see that from another angle. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. At 18 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Well, doubt this man at your own peril. The notorious Conor McGregor gets his hand raised yet again. You see the celebration is on with his chief corner, John Kavanaugh. A massive, massive moment in a career that has had so many of them for the no.